In a sport that never stops moving, even MMA junkies can struggle to keep up with all the latest headlines. If you missed any of Monday's biggest news, let us catch you up to date with The Comeback. This week's UFC Fight Night 87 event features a key heavyweight matchup between two top-ranked opponents in Alistair Overeem and Andre Arlovski. While the fight is meaningful for the UFC's heavyweight title picture, it's also a bit of an emotional contest for Arlovski, who doesn't exactly appreciate Overeem's decision to fight a teammate and what that meant for the crew at Jackson Wink MMA. Uh, the most important thing right now is to face uh, and beat uh, uh, Alistair Overeem on my age because, first of all, what I know, he, he asked for the fight to kind of put in a spot to grab Jackson and Uncle John. Kimbo Slice has settled his complaint from the Texas Combative Sports Program, agreeing to a $2,500 fine and the revocation of his license to fight in the Lone Star State after testing positive for nandrolone, an anabolic steroid, as well as an elevated testosterone to epitestosterone ratio following his Bellator 149 win over Dada 5000. As MMA junkie Steven Rocker reported, that means Slice is clear to fight James Thompson in the headlining bout of Bell Tour 158, which takes place July 16th at the O2 in London. The move could potentially complicate things for Slice should he return to the United States to compete in the future, though with Texas electing to simply revoke Slice's license rather than actually suspend them, it's tough to imagine the punishment would be too severe. Conor McGregor was back on social media on Monday, and the UFC featherweight champion predicted UFC 200 will come up short of expectations without him on the bill, while also claiming he's already conquered what was previously considered the UFC's best pay-per-view buy rate of 1.6 million at UFC 100. While UFC officials have made it clear they do not want McGregor on UFC 200 at this time, the UFC featherweight champ continues to lobby for a spot on the card. On Monday, McGregor took part in a bit of an impromptu Q&A session, declaring he's more than ready for a rematch with Nate Diaz, and that the UFC should be more than ready to invite him back on July's UFC 200 event. And that's the comeback for Tuesday, May 3rd. For more on the latest news in MMA, including a few big changes to the Bellator 154 lineup, as well as to hear why veteran broadcaster Sean Wheelock isn't terribly optimistic about collectively bargained contracts in the UFC anytime soon, check out MMA Junkie.